All right, so we actually just found a nest of squirrels that needs to be relocated. Um, it was in a debris pile, and we're actually going to relocate them. Florida, like many areas in the world, that seems to continually be getting hotter. New record heats seem to be popping up every other day. And this poor crayfish had no idea what he was doing. He was embarking upon a journey to which he may not have been able to fulfill. The creek that this crayfish's ancestors once called home has been altered. Pavement was placed on top of the creek and rerouted underground. I helped this little fellow across the road and put him into the creek where it came back out under the pavement to reunite him with his ancestors. This seems to be the common trend here, not only in Florida, but all around the world. Mankind and civilization is altering these ecosystems. Now squirrels are different than birds, they will return to their young. Here's what they look like right here. So these are uh, small little gray squirrels, I'm not going to touch them too much. There's four babies in there two there and then there's two more over here um, these are really young they don't really have any fur yet so they definitely need the care of their mother um, my buddy Dean's gonna hop up in the tree and put them back up in the tree so we went ahead and reinforced the nest since it was disturbed we we're worried that what was left of the nest would fall apart we have our guy Dean here he's gonna go up into the canopy and he's actually gonna set the nest into the branch right up here it is a common misconception that if you disturb a squirrel nest or a bird nest that the mother won't come back. The truth is the mother will come back, it just won't come back while you're in its presence. It may smell your scent, but the mother will then analyze the nest and if it looks disturbed and she thinks the coast is clear, she'll go ahead and reconstruct her nest how she likes it, what is most favorable for her and her young to survive. Even if you have to relocate a squirrel nest, Baby squirrels have the ability to call out to their mother. They create a loud squeaking noise that their mother can hear from quite a distance. And their mother is an excellent climber. She's able to move through tree canopies just as well as we're able to move across the ground. But I know there's always a few skeptics out there. This is my video I did on flying squirrel babies. We returned the baby squirrels, there were five in all, to a tree. And in a matter of minutes, the mother squirrel ran right to the nest and inspected the situation. It started caring for her young again. These squirrels know our intentions and had no problem going back and taking care of their own babies. This is the secret to life. Saving one little life at a time. Every little positive change has a lasting large impact in the long run. Early in the life of my channel, in a dire need to get views, I went ahead and did the cow killer sting test. My channel has since adapted and that's true with wildlife as well. Wildlife adapts to its different environments and circumstances or else it just goes extinct. Well, as you can see, I'm still making videos because that's what I love to do. But the cow killer sting video had a very significant flaw in it. I left the poor helpless cow killer ant portrayed as some villain, something to be scared of, something to watch out for. and leaving it somewhat misunderstood and I'm a little disappointed in myself for that so I want to set the table straight now the cow killer does have the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom but this hand is basically harmless unless you accidentally step on it or intentionally try to do it harm this hand will do anything it can in its power to get away from you and the same is true with so many of these other creepy insects that people just don't understand like this black widow spider this guy means you no harm in fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you by letting him run across my hand briefly. I mean, this highly venomous spider falls fangs first into my hand, and yet no harm was done. This insect's number one instinct was to just get away, so I went ahead and returned it back to its nest where it should be with its egg clusters. This is a native species and has a valuable role in our ecosystem. There's no doubt that man has left an impact almost everywhere it's inhabited. But that didn't stop this red paper wasp family of Palestias Carolina. They were able to inhabit my shed, and I go in there regularly, and they still have not stung me to this day, because they don't pose a real threat. Or this 350 foot tall cell phone tower. That didn't stop this family of ospreys from creating a huge nest, 
After spotting this family of osprey, it is now protected and being closely monitored and observed by different conservation groups. This is an apex predator and it plays a huge role in our ecosystem. Now many of y'all may be wondering, what about the baby turtle egg? You showed that, but I haven't seen it in so long. I'm still looking for a name for this baby turtle. I've had a few suggestions and still looking for some more good names. Now this is the enclosure I created for that baby turtle. Basically I wanted to simulate a natural environment. So I took a real sandy soil, one that wouldn't really conduct a lot of moisture upward towards the egg. And I wanted to have it to where it gradually sloped off into a water environment. Now I have the egg perched upon some straw in order to prevent it from staying completely soaked. Now I have this in a climate controlled room at right around 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And this turtle shell hopefully will hatch soon. And I'll keep y'all updated on that. What do y'all think the name of this baby turtle should be? When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.